<laughs> it's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We're playing Empire Make History on your living room floor. I apologize for those of you, to those of you, um, I don't apologize for you, I apologize to you, uh, for, for those of you who are, <laughs> to those of you who have been following the, the tournament, um, in, uh, in real time, or I guess, uh, are are up to date in terms of their tournament watching um the pace of filming will i think be slowing down as it has um into the near future my um my personal schedule has changed and so i have less time less solid chunks of time with which i can film but maybe that'll change again so we'll see um let's take a back a look a look at the board um so we can see here destructo I just thought it'd be nice to kind of... I, I'm starting to think about the end of this game, I guess. So I kind of want to look at um, people's chances. Um, and I was... I haven't actually thought about this while looking at the board, but I thought about while not looking at the board. And I was thinking Pinky has a pretty good shot of pulling off an actual victory, which is four capitals. She has two right now. So if she's able to grab two more... Um, then she'll win the game, and there's all those mighty cards. She has a lot of cards. It's possible. Um, we did decide, however, we will end the game if there are just if two people are eliminated. So let's go right into Destructo's turn. Uh, after playing an Industrial Revolution, Destructo is well poised to take back the capital that he lost uh, last turn. So he's first going to do a little bit of maneuvering down here. He decided he's going to not even deal with these pirates in this space. He's going to go ahead and get rid of it. The pirates can't invade because they have to stay on water. And then he is going to come up. I think he's going to start with here. Um, he still has the guerrilla warfare, so he's going to roll that die first. He's going against uh, what I guess is now Vaughn's capital. And he doesn't get that. But he can still roll some dice. And I think, is, is he the one with Marines? Yes, he is Marines. So he gets to roll four dice against Vaughn's one. Let's we'll see if she has any face down cards. Ooh. Okay. Well, she's definitely going to be turning that up. But Destructo doesn't know that at this time. Right, he's got a five, so he definitely won out. Um, Civilians defeat occupying army, replace opponent's units in one just lost space with three units of your own. So he was going to come in probably with three there. And so those get replaced with three units of her own. And this reclaimed republic card really ends up doing quite nicely for the defender, Vaughn. Um, so he's still going to come ahead, though, and, yeah, well, I don't know, I think he's going to come up here with these guys, and he's coming after her politics space. She's actually going to use politics to hold him off, so he can't attack with for, for the politics space. She can just keep doing that, I guess. So that'll mean he does this, and then he's going to come up here. He's really getting annoyed. So first his Guerrilla Warfare die does not work. And four against one. And he takes that unless... I don't think Weasel has anything. So he takes that quite easily. And he'll just... I think he'll actually go bigger than that there. So in the end, Destructo got most of his empire... I guess back. I, I was thinking about this today when I was on the toilet. Um, the game doesn't really make me feel like your these are empires at all. I don't know. You, despite the cards with their names and the quotes, I don't really feel like empires are involved in this game. Um, it's pretty abstract. Update on the discard pile situation, draw deck situation. Uh, Destructor wasn't even able to draw his full allotment of cards at the time, but he did get um, all the cards that he played back and the card that Vaughn played back. So that means he has the potent um, reclaimed Republic card. Spy Satellite card comes out again. This is going to let Pinky take one card from everyone. Um, I think she was probably the one who played this last time. I don't remember. 
she takes the modern future cards because those seem to be a little bit better a lot a bit better sometimes and she is the card master she really likes cards Pinky did very little on her turn she mainly just took uh, Vaughn out of uh, Western Asia there and is extended she appears poised to cross over to the New World tricky tricky move by Weasel he played um, Prohibition we know that card well um, use the rule that you just can place your guys adjacent to uh, guys you already have played it right here on this space that Destructo turns out foolishly vacated so Weasel's coming in the back door right now against Destructo's capital unless Destructo has a card that can help uh, foreign visitors call off attack chosen player can cannot attack your spaces so that, that this card here saved his patootle um, and I think Weasel's probably pretty upset right now. Here there was his chance to come back and take a capital, but Destructo is going to have a time uh, time to reinforce now, so he no longer has the surprise cursed dignitaries. Junior got a powerful duo of cards. He played this turn: robotics and civil war. He is going to use that to cause to control this space and this space of Sonny's characters, um, people. Sonny's got an interesting thing. Uh, he gets plus one to his die roll, so I assume that's for both sides right now. Um, so it's going to be plus one against plus one. It's a good way to, to get around. Um, he's able to, Junior's able to attack Sonny now without having to worry about the penalty. Unless I'm wrong about whose card that is, I don't really remember. Uh, two against three, three against three. Three against three, and so we got eight against nine, six against five, and five against two. And so that's going to be. And he'll continue the attack. Really, no reason not to. This would be a good time to just skip ahead to the results. But it's fun. You're enjoying this. All right, there we go. That one goes, so he'll take it here. Maybe he'll thin it out like that. Yeah, he'll do that. Maybe he'll just leave this one here. Nah, yeah, he'll leave it there. And then this one, I don't know what that guy's doing out of the hole. Then. This one's attacking over here. Two against three. Ten and eight, nine and six. Oh, I'm sorry, eleven and nine. And so that is going to be an attacker victory. Junior likes that. Two against one now. And he likes that. That gets rid of that guy. And he may just leave it open. Junior's going to attack from here now to try and reclaim this space. Um, so three on two. Sonny has no face down card, so he's unable to do anything about it. But he does get a plus one. Um, gosh, I can't get the dice right. He does have a plus one. See how complicated this game is? Alright, three on two. And three on two. And Sonny gets the plus one. So he's going to lose that one win the next one. So, blunk, and blunk, and he's going to keep going. And it's two on one. Oh, I forgot. Junior's supposed to have a minus one, but he still would have had that. The results would have been the same. And the results are the same here. He takes this, and he gets his propaganda ability back. And I think he wants to go in like that. Now, since he has propaganda, is that going to be an incentive to attack more? I think what he wants to do is jump in there. And that's really going to be annoying. And then, yeah, he's going to hold off there. 
So we're at a point now in the game where if you get any sort of card draws at all, any card you play during a turn, as long as it's a discard immediately type card, you um, can get those cards back. So Civil War, oh, I guess it's discard at the end of the turn. So that one he's he'll get next turn back. Robotics he gets back. Prohibition, he was he actually had only had one card draw and there was two in the discard pile, so he did not get that back. And Sonny's coming in with the counterattack. We've seen this situation before. Junior presses down to this space. Sonny pushes back. We'll see if he's able to. I guess it ultimately it'll come down to dice, though it seems like Sonny should be able to. Junior's only got four sitting there. Um, Sonny, you know, there's all these powerful cards. Booming production lets Sonny play a lot of, uh, get a lot of reinforcements this turn, even though he didn't have a lot of spaces. Junior was counting on the reinforcements being slim, but Sonny still had a lot of pieces in his headquarters. So um, he is going to push back. He's going to start with, from here, um, his machine gun space, technology space. It's going to be a straight three on three. He's probably not expecting to win this one, but it's going to be a softening move. Um, and Sonny gets to reroll one back. Oh, a lot of ties here. Yeah, so that's going to be a good softening move. Sonny's going to, Junior loses two. Sonny's going to lose three, and he's going to probably blow off the attack now, or hold off the attack. And then I think he's going to counterattack up here, and then he's planning on attacking from there. So, and Junior has no face down cards. He's not really prepared to defend himself card wise. So, we're going to do three on two. And there we go. That's a. Oh, whoops, I rolled in reverse. So, the white's the attack die this time. And. Da -da 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 -da. So, that's. That actually wasn't too good for him. It was a good defense by Junior. It's going to be. Hmm. He's not so concerned about that space, so he might, but he's also pissed, so he's going to do it again. Three on two. And why does he attack? I... This is so exciting. All right. Um, got one with that one. And he lost one. Now it's two on one. I think he'll... Go again, and we'll write the dice. It'll be black as the attack die now. And he gots it. He gots it, gots it. And he's going to go, I guess, just throw one in there just to be annoying. And then he'll attack from there. And that's a three on two. Oh, I forgot his reroll ability. I, you can, I don't know if you can tell, my interest is kind of flagging in the game. I don't know if it's because I feel a little ill, um, I have something of a head cold, or if it's just because this isn't really the most... I mean, this game is is a nice, like, kind of thoughtless game, but then when you get in a thoughtless mode, you miss things like re-rolling dice, um, and it just goes on. You know, I, it's hard to get a... But it's kind of, I do like that, like, push and pull. I, I do like that. It's not for sure what's going to happen. Um, but it usually really isn't for sure what's going to happen. And he's going to... He's kind of thinning himself out. He'll th he wants to hold that space. He'll put three in. Bond's turn. She plays an Earthquake. I'm liking this discard immediately effect. It's like, um, it's essentially given each... Um, player a certain special power. Now that there's no cards left to draw, whatever you discard immediately, you're just going to draw again. So that becomes their special power. Vaughn has very few cards, very few of anything, but she has this special power where she gets to create earthquakes. So she's going to do it, and you know, since it's been a while since we played, Pinky maybe kind of forgot about that power. And I think Vaughn is going to hit her with an earthquake right here. Is it rounded up or rounded down? Oh, it's all but one. Shoo! All right, yeah. Oh, how many does he have? He has five, so she gets to choose. Does he have five as well? I think so. 
Oh, she has four. All right, so she did there. That's pretty pretty potent, and I think that's going to, to greatly affect Pinky, who wasn't a good good position to win it soon. Right. Pinky made it a much more interesting fight. She she made bomb shelters and a force field uh, right there. So now her people are not only prepared for war, but they have a force field. And so what that's going to do is that's going to make it so Vaughn only gets to roll one die, even though she has all these units that are attacking here. Um, and Pinky gets to re-roll a die. So it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one favor but Pinky has to hold up again and again and again. Alright, six and four. Now there was a card Pinky had with a six ability. She's figuring it's a, a yeah, one unit to your side of the fight. So she's gonna use her prototype teleporter um, and see all of these she discards her next turn so she can just draw them again if she has enough draw spaces. Um, so she gets, I guess she just gets to add it from here and she beat Vaughn there. That's really annoying for Vaughn. Uh, three against two. Odds are definitely against her. I think Vaughn will press it one more time. And seven on three. Pinky's gonna re-roll. Oh, she actually gets two dice. So I'll re-roll. I'll roll one, four, and three. She's still lost. She's going to lose one there, and then it's one on one. Seven, six, and Pinky will re-roll this. Oh, and I forgot she had the um, armor, which gives her another re-roll if she wants it. And I think she'll take it now. She probably should have used that before, but that's all right. And seven. That's going to be a tie. So... Vaughn managed to take that. I didn't think she'd be able to. Um, she loses this one, too. She's going to go all in on that space. Uh, she's got a tenuous, tenuous hold. She's really just here and here right now. That's unfortunately going to do it. It's time for me to go. Uh, we only got through one round. I've been doing two rounds before stopping. Um, one round this time, I maybe I'll just need to, to stop showing you me roll dice but I, I figure you probably really like that otherwise why are you watching this um, well maybe you just like to see the the po board positions change that's kind of what I like um, so maybe I'll try and make that part smaller the part where you watch me roll dice and then maybe next time we can get three rounds in and see what happens next time for Empire make history on your living room floor <laughs>